Okay, so one of the biggest problems I've had with my bike is with the master cylinder leaking. And as you can see here, it's leaked quite a bit for quite some time, and also the brake handle is broken. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the entire kit with this nice new shiny brake master kit that I picked up from Amazon. This is the brake side, and I've got the clutch side as well. It's pretty sharp, it's all aluminum, pretty high quality. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and clean up and repaint the caliper and the carrier. Now, this has been flaking paint as well, so I'm going to replace this black caliper with, uh, I'm going to clean it up with some red paint. And I happened to be in AutoZone looking at some caliper paint, and I ran to this little caliper paint with ceramic kit from Duplicolor at my local AutoZone which was on sale for 15 bucks so I thought what the heck I'll give it a shot. So here's what it says to do. First you remove the wheels, okay, clean the surface of the caliper, scrub on the cleaner, and then mask the surround. We won't be doing any of that. And then you actually paint So it looks like there's your cleaner, caliper cleaner. And then as opposed to doing a spray on paint, you actually brush on this ceramic red paint. And then it comes with a brush and a tongue depressor for checking yourself out when you're done. Oh no, the tongue depressor is for stirring the paint. And then step six, it says to apply the paint to the caliper. So, um, I'm going to give this a shot. looks pretty cool. And I think the red's going to look nice on the bike. So this is going bye-bye. I'm keeping the hose. looks good. And then I'm going to take apart the caliper and just paint the caliper. And um, you know, I might paint the whole thing. No, nah, I'm just going to paint the caliper. So I'm just going to paint the caliper and clean up the carrier. So all right, let's do this. All right, so since the front brake system is still assembled, uh, that means it's still full of brake fluid. So the first step is to drain out all the old brake fluid that I don't need. There'd be no point in keeping any of it because it's all probably old and contaminated. So the plan is to drain everything out and then eventually refill it with fresh new brake fluid. So as I'm taking apart the carrier here, I am inspecting the caliper guides, which are these pieces surrounded in the little rubber boot for any wear or corrosion. Uh, typically if these boots go bad or if they leak, corrosion gets inside of the caliper and then nobody's happy. But as it would happen, these two looked pretty good. So the spray that's included with the kit is just an aerosol can of brake cleaner. It's no different than what you can pick up off the shelf. It's a brake clean. It did a pretty good job. Uh, since the caliper is aluminum, it took off the paint pretty easily. What I ended up have happening was a lot of paint flaked and began to peel off of the caliper as a result of the brake clean. So I did use a lot of steel wool to get that brake caliper nice and clean. Now the back of the box says that this paint should be enough for two to three coats on a set of automotive calipers so I'm assuming that means four calipers and to be honest this is a lot of paint even for two to three coats of some fairly large calipers so uh, it's more than enough for what I needed but for about nine bucks for what I paid for the kit uh, pretty happy with it so the little paintbrush that's included is actually an acid brush which has fairly coarse bristles so the first coat ended up having some really thick brush strokes in it which is not what I wanted but after it dried those brush strokes started to smooth out and by the third coat it actually ended up looking pretty smooth all right two days later and the calipers dry turned out pretty good I'm happy with the amount of coating that I've got on the caliper and overall the finish is 
uh, glossy. The red's close to the tank, but not quite the same vibrance. It's more of your typical red caliper uh, red, <laughs> I guess. And um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move forward and putting the brakes on. So at this point I'm preparing to install the new brake master cylinder and the clutch lever and although it's probably not necessary for everybody I decided to remove the tank just because I have some cables that run underneath the tank and some wiring that I thought I might need to tinker with to get everything aligned correctly. So at this point, reinstallation was basically just the reverse of removal with the brake master needing to be reinstalled, uh, the main brake line needing reconnected between the brake master and the caliper, and then about 20 minutes of manual bleeding of the system to ensure that the system is functioning properly. So one thing I did end up doing is modifying the brake master by leveling the reservoir. Uh, if you noticed in just a few seconds ago, the reservoir was sideways, so it needed to be just moved level. If I would have left it sideways, either brake fluid would have poured out during operation or possibly it would have been impossible to bleed the system. So overall, you know, that's a pretty minimal modification that was needed for this brake master cylinder. So bleeding the front brake was exactly normal as expected. So one thing I didn't think about was that on the left lever, the Honda factory controls are integrated with the clutch lever itself. So I did not yet have a plan to replace those controls uh, for a little while. So You'll notice that I come up with sort of a half solution to continue using those controls with the new clutch lever, but I do plan in a future video to upgrade to an aftermarket uh, lighting control.
All right, so check it out. I got these Biltwell Ink brown matching uh, grips to match the seat. Just gonna tie it all together real nice. All right, so that's it for this video. It looks like the brake system is complete and functional. I'm wrapping up the clutch cable here, which later did work perfectly. And I've got these nice new brown handlebars that match the seat. So overall, the bike's looking pretty good. And in the next video, thanks for watching.